since 1999, I've worked on hundreds of websites, building them so they can get authority, so they can get customers coming through, and so they grow on Google. And some businesses have got frustrated as traffic hasn't come through as easy as they expected. And yet for others, immediately with a few changes and tweaks, we've seen great results. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna share the nine things that I've learned along the way as I built my business from the ground up, along with some great free tools that you can use today on your business to help you grow in Google too. And by using these tools, you'll get the traffic that your business deserves. Not every business is equal. Often business owners don't understand that what works in one type of business or category doesn't work in another niche or category for your business. And that's an obvious fact of life because if you go to Google Ads, and if you were to do a cost per click on a particular category, you'll know, for example, that 24 hour emergency plumbers will pay a lot more per click than say a window cleaner. So the fact is, is every business has different demands, has a different return on investment, and therefore the competition can vary dramatically. So it could be that if you've got an unusual business, there's no competition, and you may find it flourishes quite quickly. Whereas if the competition's high, obviously it can be more of a challenge. SEO is more than Google business. Now, most of you have probably already got your business on Google Maps or Google Business Profile, but it's worth bearing in mind that it's not just all about the information you present there. Google already has a portfolio about your business. It knows how you appear in citations and indexes. It knows how social media views you. It knows a little bit about your branding, and it certainly knows a fair bit about your website if you have one. So it's worth bearing in mind that all those factors externally affect the internal value of your Google business profile. And so sometimes you'll need to establish authority in areas that you haven't gone into before. Maybe do a site audit as well on your business website. And there's some great tools I use. SEMrush is ideal for this as it will give you all those types of information. And a lot of it is free as well. Be a person behind the business. How difficult it is to relate to a business if you can't see the person behind it. One of the biggest complaints is the fact that when you try and get hold of your bank, you try and get hold of a business itself, all you're getting is automated telephone calls and you're getting no response at all on a one-to-one -one basis. And businesses don't work that well that way with customers any longer. So how can you do that? Well, you can use your social media profiles to make contact with your customers. You can use videos where you talk to your customers, maybe some tutorials so that you show that you understand the pains and difficulties that they're going through and how your business can then resolve that for them. And in effect, you're building the power of a personal brand. And by doing so, people will know that they can contact you and get results. So how do you keep all that consistent if you've got lots of social profiles? Well, I use Circle Boom, which has been a great way of making sure that when I've got information that I want out there, then I can do it through all forms of social media with literally one click of a button. Keep consistent. I promise you being consistent makes such a difference to Google. Google wants to know that when it then starts sending customers to your business, that your business is still around, responding and actually of value to your customers. It's hard to be consistent and keep your business updated and keep on top of all the other things that running a business requires. So how can you do that? Well, I've mentioned on previous videos about posting consistently, maybe just logging on to your business each day or each week and seeing what things Google's requiring. But ultimately, to keep your Google business profile and to keep your business profile up to date in general, like running a tool like Local Viking is a great way to do that. There you can schedule posts to go out at certain times and you can manage all your projects all in one place. But of course, another one you could use is Surfer Local as well. So try one of those two. Surfer Local is one I currently use Local Viking also can be just as useful. The nice thing with this though, is you can monitor the progress. So if you want particular keywords to be used and to find out where you appear in the map pack, then these are great ways of monitoring to see whether the efforts you're putting in are having a positive effect over a period of time. Understand your competition. So do you really know your competition? Do you know what categories they currently use? Do you know how often they post? Do you know how often they get reviews coming in? Do you know what the average rating is? Do you know what attributes your competitors are using? All these are questions that are hard to find out unless you monitor them using a free tool. And that's where GMB Crush has been really useful. So I use this again just to get an idea of what the competition's doing and how I'm performing against them for the various categories. 
And in addition, you can use GMB everywhere, and it does it in a similar way, but does it from within Google Maps itself as an add-on. So again, using these, the combination of these two can be really powerful. For the tools that we mentioned in today's video, then make sure you click on the links down below in the description, and they'll take you through to those relevant tools, and you can use them straight away, and then start to see the benefits for yourself. There are no guarantees. Boy, the amount of times that SEO gurus make promises and guarantees that you can be number one or they can get you to number one by the end of the day. The fact is, is no one can guarantee anything because unless you're head of the department of the Google algorithm, how could you possibly know what's going to happen tomorrow even? So my recommendation in effect would always be to put that time and effort not into getting gurus to do it, but in learning how to do it for yourself. And no one knows the business better than you, the person running it or the manager. So that's why this channel tries to keep you up to date so that you can then be informed on how you can then optimize your own business and then that's going to be far more greater value and give you a much more long-term benefit to your business that's why if you're finding value then it'd be great to subscribe and of course tick the alert button and that will then make sure you don't miss the next update on helping you grow your business next one is help your customers and the thing is, is you can't help your customers unless you know what your customers want. So how much feedback does your customers give you? Do you have a feedback form? And do you then respond to it? Are they able to email you and ask questions? And also what types of questions are people in your field asking? Well, there's a great tool that's called Ask the Public. <laughs> Not ask the public, answer the public. You can ask the public, they won't know. Actually, they will know. They'll know what they want to know. So answer the public and there, you'll find out exactly the questions that people are asking and you'll then know what to respond to. You'll know what articles to write that's going to help your customers. And if you help your customers, they'll come back again. And who are they going to turn to when they want your services, when they want services like yours? Well, the person who is most helpful. So being helpful is a very powerful technique, a marketing technique in effect, but it's one that's always going to get better results because people like to be helped and like someone that's helpful. Build branding authority. So what is branding authority? We well, just think if someone was to look for your business, what would come up on the results? If they looked under images on Google, what images would they see? The fact is, is you have a brand, your logo, your color scheme, your website, your business profile. Google knows how you're viewed by the public. Google knows what tweets are said about you. It knows about Facebook. The fact is, is you do have a brand. Everyone has a brand, but what type of authority is it growing? Because once you have a brand authority, Google will definitely give you more ranking. And Bright Local is a great way to find out a bit more about how you can grow your authority. The more consistent you're found on citations and throughout the web, the easier it becomes then for Google to know that there's a consistency there that it can rely on. And therefore, it will then give it greater authority in the search engine. So build your citations. Bright Local is a great way to do that. The need for speed. If your website's slow, if it doesn't load fast, then Google is actually going to rank it down. Why? Because Google knows that if people don't get a response very, very quickly, whether on a mobile, whether on a laptop or on a tablet, whatever, whatever device they're using, if it doesn't get a response quite quickly, people then will go and turn away. And that gives negative signals to Google. So Google at the moment is giving extra rank to business websites that load fast. But how can you do that? If you've got a WordPress website, for example, it will tend to learn a little bit slower than the average website. Maybe Wix, Squarespace are a little bit better because they've had recent updates. Well, the latest WordPress has had a great update. 6.03 has been a good update regarding speed. But there's also something you can do that will speed it up with no coding requirement whatsoever. And that's Nitro Pack, which I use. It's got uh, the ability to basically speed up and cache your website for you so that it serves up a lot quicker to the search engines and to visitors. And you can test your site to see how well it does in the link down below as well. As a bonus, uh, most people haven't realized there's a new way that Google's working its business profile at the moment. So you remember Google My Business, we're now called Google Business Profile. Things keep changing. So how can you make sure that you've got the very latest thinking with the algorithm on Google Business Profile? Well, you won't want to miss this video. It's gonna be the next stage to getting your business to get extra traffic and growth on Google.